It's a large apartment building in Watertown first condemned, now soon to be foreclosed on. That process has begun in court. While it does not necessarily mean anything will change soon, city officials tell 7 News reporter Chad Charette it's a property they are paying attention to. It has quickly become one of Watertown's more problematic properties. In July, 232 West Main Street was condemned, being deemed unfit for human occupancy which displaced a couple dozen residents. Since then, promises to fix up the property by owner Tyler Weiss haven't panned out. Watertown City Manager Eric Wagner says the man has gone especially quiet over the past few months. I have to be honest with you, it's frustrating. I mean, I think, you know, we got a, be a big building over there in the, in the middle of our downtown, um, boarded up. It doesn't look great. In a court filing from earlier this month, the Fannie Mae Finance Company indicated it plans to foreclose the property in order to recoup a defaulted loan of roughly $1.5 million. That means the property could soon be under new ownership. If fixed up, it could help with the area's housing demands. It's a good facility. It's got a lot of apartments in it. Um, it. You know, so I think it's an opportunity for a developer or somebody to come in and do something for sure. Wagner tells us from his experience, the times between a notice of pending foreclosure like the one that was sent out and an actual foreclosure vary, but they're usually pretty lengthy. That doesn't mean folks can't be proactive, however. Uh, that doesn't mean we can't start planning and people can't start planning about it to, with the hopes that it does get uh, taken care of. And, you know, and even as if it's in notice of foreclosure, who knows, the owner may end up doing something with it as well. We reached out to the property owner, but he was unable to comment. At this time, there's no set date for the foreclosure. Chad Charette, 7 News.